Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Blue Lotus Gardens. How are y'all doing today? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Blue Phoenix. My pronouns are they, them. Today I am filming my vlog. If you're new here, I make planty videos from my found knowledge, and then I also share a plant vlog on Wednesdays of what I do um, behind the scenes of my from my plant shop, my home-based plant shop, Blue Lotus Gardens, so that way you all see um, what I'm doing and um, am getting ready and prepared for you all. I also like We'll show you um, how we ship things from our shipping catalog. And I super appreciate you all that have um, been ordering from us. Um, you all are so amazing. And I've entered each and one of y'all have purchased from us in our website um, into a giveaway. So you'll be entered to a giveaway of our um, of one of our potted plants featured on our website. I'll announce the winner on the, on the 7th. So stay a lookout for that and I'll be sending updates on my, on through emails and then uh, in Instagram and all that good stuff. So let's get to the video. Thank you all. If you could like the video and also uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. So that way you get, and then hit the little notification bell so that way you get updated on all the things that I do. Thank you. Hi everyone. So I'm at Walmart today. It's my local neighborhood Walmart, so I wanted to check them out because they had some plants. So let's come see what they have. I'm wearing a mask because it's required here, so just so y'all know. So we have some little succulents, aloes. Some African violets. Some aglonemas. Some sad begonias, <laughs> ivies. I think there's some more. Some orchids. Here is some more they have. These would be nice for like sun loving gardens. Attract all like the pollinators for it. Look at this big hibiscus. It's a little sad, but a little care would help. Okay. There's a lot of Justina, Marginados. This one looks like it has a little fern coming out of it. Here are some annuals. Those are like some portalacas, some caladiums. What are these? Oh, some daylilies. Here is some more. I like how they trail. Just a little care. I think these all, you, you could just like, they'll like bounce back up pretty much. Here's some really nice ferns for your like super shady garden. What are these? Chem fern. I like how they look like this. Here's some sweet potato vines. Some begonia baskets. I guess they had more or they're gonna plant to put more. So I'm just a, a little early. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go head off to Lowe's now. Okay, so I'm at Lowe's. Let me show you all what they have. Um, this one, I really wanna show you all this one because my cousin likes this tree. And so and she's been looking for it. This is like some of their selections. <laughs> Look at these huge philodendrons. Oh my god. 
So tempted to get one. Look at all that new growth. So amazing. So this is their little selection. Show it all. It's a cute little area. Look at these, these are so huge. Oh my god. Did y'all see that? Oh my god. So, and they have these nice little variegated ones. There's some just, some justinas. Some to, what are these, uh, Platophyllum, I believe, that's what they call them. Disease. Oh my god, and they have uh, regal shields. And this one um, is a, uh, I think this one's a Colocasia. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mine. <laughs> and all the snake plants. Someone got hungry over here, started nibbling on some snake plant. Some fiddles. Oh my god. Guess what? Look at all those monsters. Look at all those monsters. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what? I get excited. And I saw one and I let it go. I was like, someone else will get it. But if I see it, I swear to Bob. It's gonna be mine. So this is like the whole selection. They have discount plants right here, which I am so happy for, and I'm gonna get two of those. A little sad syngonium and uh, this this guy right here. So I'm gonna get that. There's some snake plants. There's some begonias. More bromeliads and snake plants, and orchids, hanging baskets. And then um, come over there. So let's go check them out. So here you can see a whole bunch of little syngoniums and um, pileas and waffle plants. This one. It's not look cool. I like that. There's some crotons, petras. And then there's some bigger protons over there. They have some maiden hair ferns. These aren't really that hard. Um, you just really, uh, if you see they're in the soil, you uh, just water it whenever that soil looks dry. And that's it. Preferably we'll bottom water it and you're good. Those look so good. Oh my god. I want to get one. I like the way they're textured. I'm trying to look for a begonia if they have any begonias. I'm always for them. You know me. I'm always searching for a begonia. Croton, they're cute, it's nice, but I want a begonia, please. Okay. How about over here? Any more? No, okay. Yeah, look what I found. Look what I found, look what I found, look what I found, look what I found, look what I found. The next day. Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel, Blue Lotus Gardens. Today I am showing y'all in my plant shop the plants that I got. So I got these at Lowe's the other day and um, what I'm gonna do is propagate them and make more. And we could also have some for uh, to trade with and just have fun with and make more. I was just like so happy that I found like this really cool like look this really cool looking shaped leaf. So I was just like really excited and I was like, man, I need to get these. 
I'm sure other people want them. And that's all it. I'm gonna do the same with this one. Place them out for like the take a planet, leave a planet, so that way people can get them also. So they'll be all various selections of ways for you to get them. One here's my latest haircut for them. So I left it a little bit trilly, um, and I trimmed off a lot of like the uh, yellowing leaves. I left some of them on there just because, and anything that looked like it was maybe pest problematic. Not sure. We're gonna spray it down, do some things with it. Uh, so I'm gonna keep them, and then. Uh, you know, just make propagations, keep some sort of store, and just keep like stocking up. As a small business, it's kind of like hard to get a hold of a lot of like uncommon plants. And then I, I'll save for the Discord group, but I just had a really horrible experience with imports. And it was my first experience at... I mean, it was bound to happen, right? But, uh, everything turned out alright, and we just handled it, so. Just kind of... I mean... <laughs> oh my god. Just kind of like hurts a little bit that it was like it took this long for that kind of like resolution to happen and I mean it's fine I just I was really stressed and really excited to share with y'all what was going to happen but I'm going to start off really small and I'm going to look at people that can help us out you know eventually and then I'm going to build my greenhouse, so y'all see that. So these are all the propagations I'm going to have to make. <laughs> Can you imagine? Make a lot. <laughs> so. Okay, so here's the, here's the cuttings. And here's like what I've got so far. <laughs> And then I got little like nodes over here, so toss those in the sphagnum prop box, and then I'll show y'all after I get bit uh, by all the mosquitoes out here. So, by the way, y'all yeah, like my little stickers? I get some new ones out, so I'll be posting them uh, and then getting y'all's feedback. So y'all, thank y'all. Hope y'all like uh, what's gonna be coming out from the store and enjoying what I provide to y'all. So here is my setup. What I'm thinking about doing is um, adding a two-in-one grow tent over here so that way um, I have my propagations in one area and then I will have um, that will be for the store and then I'm gonna have like another section underneath <clears throat> well I have like exclusive cuttings for my patreon members so far I I'm growing it and um we're like really like all of you that are supporting this is amazing like this is just so incredible so thank you so much um for supporting my passion and helping me grow like really quick zoom in but i'm getting these bird of paradises ready for y'all so that way i could put them on the store um this vlog might be out by the time or they might be put on the store by before the vlog is is up but 
Yes. And then soon, um, next month, things are a lot going to change a lot. So we'll be getting a lot of new plants. And um, I would really like, if you're looking for like unique plants, uh, keep us in mind and uh, look look at us uh, next month because we'll definitely or we're just we'll definitely have like be restocking a lot of things and um, there's just a lot of things going on and we're getting ready for that. But I sold this variegated um, Hoya uh, Hindi rope. This is the uh, Hoya Retusa. You can find this on my store. Um, this guy is not ready. This is a trivia. I keep putting my finger in the way, but as you see, it's still growing. So, not yet. And I think I really need a grow tent so that way like all of these plants can get like the right type of white. Like this does help it, but not enough, not the way it should. And then I, I just got this Squamy Ferrum today. So you know, I just showed it to y'all and this has like been my wishlist plant, plant forever. Oh my God, forever y'all. Oh my God. Um, I sold this Raffida for a Ducrasiva. I'm still and still waiting for it to get picked up. Um, some Doctail cacti. <clears throat> this is my little Monstera. It's a little, very like narrow, and I love it. It's my Cebu Blue. And then uh, look at this little, <laughs> little leaf right there. Isn't that really cool? Oh my god. And then it just grows. There's another little growth point right there. It's super tiny. And then there's another one right over there. Very tiny, but they're like pink little nubs and they'll grow out. I just have it under my grow light for like six to seven hours and it's all set out to like 20 percent these are um my friend's grandmother's uh pothos she passed on a while back i took these uh from her plant to make more and so that way uh, her grandchildren have like a plant from her and so, so far i've like i had only like two little sticks that I have that like this big leaf and then if you see in the back like those were like the only two and then maybe like a couple other little cuttings somewhere oh here they go one little cutting from this guy and um, yeah I made four planters out of them these are the Hawaiian uh, golden pathos they are called that because of their um, large leaves. Like these leaves are huge. And these were just like some of the smaller like leaves that were there. I didn't want to, you know, take too much. I wanted it to be a surprise. And when he found out, he was just like, oh my God. That's so amazing. And so this is now four of them. And then I made this uh, Marble Queen also from that to one of these. And then, um, I have two little ones. You should see them right there. I have them uh, growing also. So they'll get all, all the plants back whenever they're done growing. And then over here, I have some of my uh, plants also. Well, this one's my plant. 
No, this one's not my plant actually. This one's the storage plant. It's the Monstera Dysoniae. And then there's a um, Rapid for hey I rescued. There's also a string of turtles over here. What's this? There's also a string of turtles over here. There's a string of hearts. Uh, there's a watermelon peperomia. Uh, this aglonema maria. There's pop. I'm sorry. There's a uh, philodendron Brazil. Got those cuttings. I made those cuttings from my personal plant. Did y'all saw? I think y'all saw that from the video. Um, and then Hoya carnosa on a jute pole, and it's just growing a lot. Let's see over here if I can show y'all. There's some more as well. There's a uh, philodendron micans over here. Um, these are my propagations of the Rattusa that I made. I just kept making propagations. This is the decursive, these are decursive uh, uh, propagations. This is a Raphidophora Hei Rescue. Y'all saw me do. Um, these are my Raphidophora Tetrasperma um, propagations. This is my Monstera Stultipicana. I got two of them. There's one right there. And then there's one right here. I got these so that way I can make some for my members, my Patreon members. Here's a Begonia Griffin. And I made a propagation out of that as well for the store. Here are, where'd you go? There's a Cebu Blue that's just growing so much. Here is a uh, Pothos Argerius. I potted up for the store. I have a little prop box in there. <laughs> and little props. Here is my uh, China doll. I think it's, I love this one. This one's like one of my favorites. I wanna get more, just like put them everywhere. <laughs> Uh, this is my little sad guy that I'm recovering of my, of my micans. Move these out the way. So here's the propagations for my pra my Patreon members. As you see here, they're growing pretty well. Um, they're doing really well actually. I put them in the soil and I just um, are letting them grow in this um, Tote. And if you see right here, there's like new growth emerging from them. So I keep a good eye on them and I make sure that they're like all healthy and, and well. And in the beginning, uh, you're going to get a, like a couple of them that are going to maybe die. Um, it just happens with all propagations. And so you want to just pack them up pack them with like a whole bunch and and um, that way you have a good chance of them surviving look at this one these were like uh, funky little uh, weird guys that I propagated they were just like um, growing weird as you see I had like these like top growth points on them so I, I kept, so what I did was I kept this top growth point on it and then also um, another like established part of the plant cutting from it. And then I believe, don't quote me, I'm still kind of figuring this part out. I believe that this is going to help it uh, grow better, especially if you have new growth that's still pretty, um, young like this so it's what i think i who did i hear that from oh, i'm not sure i know i heard it from somebody 
Um, and I just was just like, I'm gonna try it. You know, it's just you just you learn things out of when you just try things. And there's another one. I just really love looking into this and just being like, oh. like I, I enjoy it. I enjoy that so much. Here's my begonias. Here's my begonia fedora. I'm sorry. Here's my begonia fedora. Right? That's how you say it, fedora. I just want to say fedora, but it's not fedora. Fedora is a hat. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little hat on it. <laughs> um, this is a Rex begonia. I'm not sure which species, which one this one is. But look at that rhizome, yeah. You see that rhizome? It's such a good rhizome, I think. Here's the begonia escargot that I rescued. Look at this new growth on it. There's these fuzzy little leaves. They were pretty tiny and now they're growing. This one, um, is, it got huge and I think it got bacteria right here. And so that's why it, uh, it was already like this. Yeah, that's why I think it, it started rotting off. But if I cut this part off right now, it'll um, it'll damage the whole plant. I mean, not the whole plant. It'll damage the whole foliage of it because I am keeping it in a closed environment. So, I mean, if it was like an open environment and it's still pretty humid, that'd be okay. But it's in a, a closed environment for, for a reason, you know? Like I'm trying to help out all the new growth get pushed out so that way it um, gets better established in there. And then look at these little tiny ones in there. So cute. Little ones. That's new growth. Like <laughs> To me they look like little Muppets. <laughs> okay. And then... Don't know what that is, but oh yes, I'm sorry. This one, nope. Yeah, no, this one's a fedora as well. It's a very immature fedora. So tiny, tiny, tiny. Look at their little rhizomes. Tiny. This is from my project. As you see, I just repurposed this and um, just put hostas and begonias in here. Um, in here, the soil is mostly uh, sand, like about this much. So I don't really water it a lot because it doesn't need to. It's gonna retain all that moisture in there. And it's begonias and hostas, so even though it's a hosta that really net, like likes a lot of like water with the soil being uh, really compact and a little bit more moist, it'll do really well in there. So that's how they've grown. Can't wait till it's like super big. <laughs> Look at the little ladybugs just hanging out. Hi little guys. Oh, thanks for all the help eliminating my little pest problems if I had any. Baby, oh look at this one. <laughs> what was that about? This one's just chilling, man. Oh, I'm on a move. I'll leave them there. So for today's plant shop, as you see, um, I have it all set up. And then I have new Bird of Paradises. I'm about to add to the store. And then I have my deal my terrarium starter deal that I grew myself. Um, I have some pothos propagations, some the Bradford of 4 I rescued. 
Brazil uh, propagations, uh, cacti propagation, cacti succulent propagations. Uh, that is a Addisonii neriform with a handmade jute pole, um, alocasia regal shields, my um, philodendron rojo congo. Man, it's getting nice. Um, I doing this little deal for like fifteen bucks, and you get a cash pot. Um, and Tiba Blue. I think that's a really good deal. Uh, my Kokodama from my Pothos Enjoy. There is also a potted uh, Skinapsis, uh, Pictus Argerias, Hoyas, uh, seven each, or I'm just gonna like do 20 for all. <laughs> uh, and then I have these little guys. Look at these little guys. Oh. How cute are those? These are like my little like starters that I do. It's like seven dollars. Get yourself a little, a little propagation. And then um, I have like little cash pots here for them as well, so people can choose. And then I have uh, these propagations. Look at all this. So these are all like if you want to come buy this at the store, you can like take a propagation of your choice I just put these out today so I'm sure someone's gonna be like oh my god what do they get what do I get so yeah and then here is where I'll leave more of like to take a plant leave a plant so I'm going to repot my little Hoya curtsy over here into this container and then place all these little guys into here. <laughs> Y'all like my little, I think this was the crisp, crisp Easter cactus. I just keep it outside here, it just grows. Yay! So I sold uh, my Philodendron Red Congo also today. So excited. And I'm throwing in a couple little cuttings because I love sharing like some plants that I have and love all the support that everybody has given me. So I just always love giving back. Everyone, so we're going to be repotting uh, my Cali Wonder sweet peppers and then we're also going to be um, potting up some uh, rescued calathea medallions um, they have they're like a they um, they're showing new growth and I haven't watered them so I'm showing you my process on how I res rescue the calatheas and then that way you will see it. So, over here um, in my little plant shop so y'all can see that <laughs> well, this is how they look. If you see right here, that's the new growth. I haven't watered it because I was afraid that it was uh, that it was going to be like too soggy. It won't grow. So what I'm doing is you know, just placing them here, and they're going to grow. Like, I have, I have faith in them, and I have my little Cali Wonder Peppers, you can see here, little pepper, looks like a butt, <laughs> and I'm using Miracle Grow because that's all that there was around, so typically you just want to fill up your pot of this much, and then uh, place them all in there. So that's how they look. Here's how it looks. You're going to want to bottom water it so that way it all gets properly watered. And since it's been dried out, um, the reason why you want to bottom water it is because um, this will uh, get damaged if you do a top, top watering. So until there's like new structure and growth, you uh, have to bottom water it. So maybe that's why that's from what I learned from like 
on my field propagations and um, calatheas that I was trying to rescue, so I hope that's helpful to y'all. This is about halfway, so. And then. Don't want to disturb the roots. So if you tap it around the, the base of the plant and then uh, push it down, you can also uh, it'll stabilize itself a little bit better because of the soil going around the plant, the new soil going around the plant. And here we are. Can't wait to get um, some peppers going. So we're right next to my take a plant, leave a plant. Uh, here's some updates. This, so someone new just uh, dropped these off. Sarah, you could like come by and get your cuttings and stuff, and just trade around. I have all these in here. All right, later, everybody. So I'm just like like laying down and thinking how amazing this has been to just bring you all like all these amazing plants and like when you find something that you just really enjoy in doing um and you just have fun with it and you are building like a community and people that just enjoy what you're doing it's, i think it's so worth it like yeah, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired and like editing and um, all these things, but y'all, this is so worth it. And I'm finding my rhythm within everything. Um, I'm just really enjoying this and I'm enjoying that, that I can bring my creative side out and show y'all like with um, all these things. Uh, also with my Patreon members, like thank y'all so much for like, joining i have some new patreon members and i am so thankful for y'all to join so just want to say <laughs> like laying here watching anime just relaxing a little bit um thank you and how cool it is to just do something that people are so supportive and i'm so passionate about <laughs> And look at that, Marley, she's a sleepy little baby. <laughs>